I am going to go ahead and um, move my open back that side door to the coop for the chickens to come on out today. But I'm also going to uh, going to hang some old CDs I don't have, I don't need, and uh, some fishing line across here. Um, I haven't seen one in a couple of weeks, but here we've been getting up in the top of these trees. But those two for sure, the way back, that one that's way back over there, one was there. Um, I don't know if it's a hawk or, or what kind of bird, but a very big scavenging bird. And I just don't need them getting these birds. They're not attacking my other birds, they're out by my goats. And that could be because of the goats. Uh, I'm not sure, but I've got about uh, 10 CDs. I'm gonna drill some holes in. I'm gonna hang them from the fence with a fishing line. I'm gonna string fishing line across here, kind of fear for what the birds may do, interfere, stopping them, trying to stop them from getting in here, attacking my birds. But I need to get them out. They're ready to come out. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. All right. You can see I got the door open on the side of the, the coop. Right down right over there. It's open. They're sticking the heads out. I started hanging up these little ribbons. It was those warning ribbons. I don't know if that's good or not to distract birds or is it going to attract them. You guys let me know. But I do have, I heard fishing line is one big thing and also shiny objects moving around with the wind. As another you know some of them are they're all shiny on one side some have a black on one side but I've got CDs here I thought I had two four I only get six I thought I had more than that yeah I got six huh. anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and run fishing line through here and I'm gonna run the CDs along with that and uh, I think I'll hang the CDs as I go across with the fishing line and attach them and uh, hopefully that will work and keep the the birds safe um, anyway that's what we're going to do you can see their heads sticking out right there <laughs> they don't know what's going on they'll be out soon one's fixing a jump oh 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 nope, not yet getting close <laughs> All right, all right. I'm stringing out these lines with the CDs. You see, I've already got three on there. I got three more to do, and you can see how they move around with the wind and those lines shining all over, light glaring different areas. So I got a feeling that this is going to work to keep these hawks out of here. If they're hawks, I don't know what they are. They are very large birds, though. All right, let me go do some more. sure you've seen what I did I've got everything weaved in all the lines are weaved through I ran one more line across so it was like maybe a uh, a four by four section that's all weaved in a fish line CDs and I got six CDs I don't know about the yellow orange ribbons I mean you guys let me know what you think I just thought it'd be deterrent, but is it color for them to see something, and is that bad? So, that's what we've got for now. The door's open. You can see, I think right now they're not coming out because of me. They're going back in. So, they don't mind me in the pen, but this is all new to them. They're just now coming out. 
All right, let me get outside here. All right, I've got the birds out. They're running around. It's the next day. They didn't come all out at all yesterday, but you can tell they're running the fence line right now. Threw some feed out. There's one stack there, and I ate another one that's around here. But they're doing good. Yeah, there's still two more, I believe, inside. But the birds are doing good out here. Um, my fear has always been those, these big birds get coming down. Um, I don't know if I ever told you a story or not, but when we first moved here um, and cleared out this property, there was a our cat was on this property. It was a kitten. It was about a years old though. And uh, anyway, uh, she was walking on the little road where I've got the um, the goats and the pigs right that little road walking toward me and I was maybe say 50 feet in front and that one of those big hawks swooped down and just picked her up and they they hauled her or it hauled her for it got up about 20 feet in the air and then uh, Happy was able to wiggle, wiggle around and break loose and fell to the ground so that's what's always scared me about these birds you know getting them out here and I, so I waited longer for them to get bigger to put them out here so it would be a little more tougher but believe it or not happy now is like the guard cat for these birds and the other birds she usually sits in the pen with the birds and um, I'm surprised she's not in there oh there she comes now she's coming for duty <laughs> what happened you're supposed to be on duty <laughs> I knew she was around here somewhere. Uh, the big birds that's out there, uh, I think they're safe because they're in the trees and the birds can't swoop down and fly away. And I think that's what they usually do. And here they would have more room. That's why I put all this fishing line up. If you can see it, there's a lot of fishing line in six CDs. So, different colors, all shiny on one side. Last night it was real bright and you can see the lighting flashing everywhere. So, birds are doing good. Happy, how are you doing, honey? Hmm? How you doing, baby? How's my baby doing? Hmm? What you doing, kid? Huh? What you doing there, kid? You're such a good girl, aren't you? Alright, guys. I'm going to call this done. We're through here. Birds look really good. They look really, really good. I'm glad they're out here finally. They're big enough to, I think, should be handled pretty good out here. So they should be out here for um, probably a couple of more months. Um, for, well, at the end of February, they're going to be out. So and then I'm going to be taking care of the other birds over there and move these out there. So these birds will all be getting shifted around and moved around. But every fall I plan to bring chickens over here. Whether it's gonna be a new set I'm bringing in or the other ones transfer and move them around. Do their, their kindly thing on the garden. That dirt soft, you walk in it, you just fall in it. It's beautiful soil. It looks sandy, but it's really good. I got cow manure I gotta get for this. And some composting stuff I'm gonna put in here again. But I'm gonna wait for just a little bit longer. I usually wait and dump compost in here sometime around. Um, late January give it a month if it's cool or hot to cool down a little bit so anyway all right guys we're gonna go birds looking good y'all have a oops, sorry y'all have a great day and we'll just talk to you later thanks again bye